this particular time to get the program moving, I would like to ask uh, if Mr. Samuel Swan would come forward and the pastor, the new pastor of Bethel AME Church, Reverend Henry Jackson. Because Mr. Swan is on the Parks and Recreation Board, I would like for him to officially introduce and welcome the new pastor of Bethel AME to our community. And I would like to pastor to say a few words before he begin prayer. Thank you, Beverly. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce my pastor at Bethel AME Church. Before I call his name, I like to to tell you what he told me when I first met him. He told me, I cut my own lawn. And if a pastor cuts his own lawn, that puts him in a category by himself. This pastor I have to my right is at Bethel AME Church, and for those that don't know, that's 405 Northwest 3rd Avenue. And we have plenty of room for you. This young man to my right is a Reverend, is a Reverend, Henry Jackson. And we're gonna do big things here with this minister. And he said, he's not Bethel's pastor. He is Pompano Beach's pastor, Reverend Jackson. Just let me say good morning this morning to the elected city officials and of course to the honorees, the retired and still working seniors and to all of you, my father's children in Christ Jesus. I'm just delighted, delighted to simply be a member and to be in the best city on the planet, Pompano Beach, Florida, amen. I've been told that great things are happening in Pompano Beach, amen. And I wish to be a part of anything that's happening, that's moving onward and upward, amen. We at Bethel and the community wish to be there. We, thus far, it's been our pleasure to meet some of the finest people on the earth here in Bethel and in the city of Pompano Beach. I look forward to a long, long stay here with you, amen, as we do the work of the Lord trying to do kingdom building here on earth. It's my pleasure to be here. And my wife is not here this morning. She is back in Melbourne. We have some grandchildren that, so, that, that we are so attached to. And I'm sure all the grandparents know how sweet it sounds when somebody say, Grandpa and grandma <laughs> amen so that's where she is amen i'm happy to be here to be a part of this affair to recognize these persons these seniors because we are the recipients of their prayers the things that they prayed for we are enjoying them this generation and others to come uh, let us pray oh thou eternal and everlasting father we come before thee this morning most humbly and thanking thee for your many blessings. We thank thee most of all this morning for your darling son, Jesus Christ. We thank thee, O oh Father, that we live in the land of the free, a home of the brave. We thank thee that we are able to worship thee in wonders and in unity. We beseech thy blessing upon, we pray, this waiting congregation, this waiting these waiting people and these officials. We ask our prayers upon the leaders of our country that they would lead, guide, and direct their minds, their thoughts, and their attitudes. Bless, we pray, the officials of our city that they too may make wide decisions that will affect all of the citizens of this, our community. Bless all those that we are so duty bound to pray for. For we pray it in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And all of God's people say it. Amen. Thank you.
God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. And welcome again. At this time, we'd like for our city manager, William Hargret, to come forward. He's going to give us the greetings, and he's also going to introduce the mayor of the city of Pompano Beach. It is always my pleasure to come and share uh, this special day with our seniors. Uh, it, it seems like the crowd gets bigger and bigger every year. Uh, I'm just delighted to be here again. Uh, it is indeed a wonderful thing that we can uh, all come together as we begin uh, the holiday season and uh, look forward to, uh, to Thanksgiving. Uh, I am also uh, very pleased to tell you that uh, every member uh, of our city commission uh, is here uh, with us to uh, share this dinner. Uh, I think that uh, uh, there are also a number of members of the uh, city staff uh, that are present, and I would uh, ask them if they would simply stand up. Uh, Please and be recognized as a group. And it's certainly uh, uh, my privilege and honor to uh, introduce uh, at this time someone who probably needs no introduction, but uh, the mayor of our city, uh, Bill Griffin. Thank you, Bill. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. I have to say amen with Sam Sworn, who mows his own yard, as I do. Welcome, Reverend. But as you've read in the paper, sometimes mowing your own grass is dangerous. And uh, all those today that did not have the opportunity to be here, please take a look at Channel 18, our own city channel, with Octavian Onik and Sandra King, our PIO officer. Is Sandra here? Oh, I thought you were embarrassed and ran off. So please take a look at that. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, to the audience the Commission of the City of Pompano Beach. Commissioner Lamar Fisher. <laughs> Commissioner Kay McGinn. <laughs> Commissioner Ed Phillips. Who did I leave out? Oh, uh, Vice Mayor Herb Skolnick. <laughs> and also I want to recognize former mayor and commissioner who made a tremendous amount of contributions to the city of Pompano Beach, Pat Larkins. As we enter into the holiday season, it is indeed an honor to be here today with the senior generation and our youthful generation, because they can pay heed to what all the seniors in this room and throughout our community have contributed to make Pompano Beach all it can be, along with all the values that these, the younger generation can take into account and be everything they can be. As the citizens of the United States, we have many freedoms I think we all please take for granted. With the incident of September 11th, that is why I say we've taken our freedoms here to pray, to share our opinions with others, to debate, belong to whatever political party you would like to belong and share your support for whatever it is. And that's what makes America. 
and Thanksgiving especially, a tribute to all you seniors that are here today. Again, God bless you all. I'm happy to be here along with the City Commission. I welcome the past, I welcome the present, and I welcome our future. God bless you all. At this particular time, before Sanders Park start, Ms. Emma Ellington would like to give a special presentation to the three employees here at the City of Pompano Beach. Good evening and God bless all of you. Today I stand here before you because 10 years ago, when Mr. Walker hired my daughter here at this park to work part-time, she came home one day and said to me, we need to have some activities in the morning time at the, uh, at the park, at the recreation center. And I said to her, what do you want me to do about it? So she said to me, well, you know, you have all these old people here. And at that time, of course, I had my business in Collier City and said, maybe we can find something for them to do. And I said to her, well, I don't really have time to do that, but I have a neighbor that I can recruit and the person of Ms. Coretta Williams. And I, I went over and I spoke with Ms. Williams and of course we met with Cheryl, which isn't here today. Uh, and we came over and we talked with Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker was very receptive to what we were trying to put together here, uh, activities for the elderly. And of course his assistant, uh, Marilyn, I can't remember your last name, Marilyn, okay. And thus, this particular program started just by one person saying that we need some activities for our elderly. And today, coming from me, because I, I, take, uh, I take this as a personal uh, venture, because most of you in here know me, and you know I love elderly people, and um, this is just a token of love coming from me to these three people, and of course Mr. Pat Lockins, who was very, very instrumental in pushing this thing through with the city, getting the funding. And again, I want to thank uh, Marilyn, Ms. Coretta, and Greg for carrying on this program and making it a, a success. And hopefully it will continue after we're gone. Thank you. And now in front of you, we have Sanders Park Elementary School. central area of Broward County, I'm Lauder Hill Paul Turner, so this is my first year at Charles Drew. We're working very hard at Charles Drew, trying to raise our scores, and we welcome any support, and we have been getting a lot of support from the Pompano community, and I would like to thank you for all of your support.
As a member of the Omega Psi Phi fraternity in the Aiden New Chapter of Pompano Beach, Florida, each year upon our achievement week, we give out a basket to a needy senior citizen. And at today's, we would like to give out a basket to Ms. Ali Glover. And we hope that this basket will be nourishing for you and helpful for you during the, during the holidays. Okay, we also would like to make a, another special presentation to an individual that we feel like has been very instrumental in our community, working with our youth. As a, he, presently, he's the president of the Northwest Chief Booster Club, and he also formulated his own trike club, which now has approximately 120 kids. On behalf of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, we would like to take this opportunity to present Joe Ballard with our Citizen of the Year Award. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, Greg. I really appreciate it. But uh, it's a lot of people that's in here. Right. First of all, I'd like to salute the seniors. Let's give them a hand again. I'd like to suit all seniors, but it's a lot of people in here that uh, supported. This is not only for me, it's for the kids of the community. Uh, first of all, my mother's here, and I'd like to thank uh, Parks and Recreation Department, the city people that's backed me and helped support me in trying to uh, pave a way for our youth. But uh, as we stand here today, we got a magnitude of community effective right here in this building. And uh, a lot of those have supported me, and I see a lot of faces here that uh, along my path growing up uh, have given me some guidance, of, some advice somewhere along the way. So i just like to say thank you for your support, and uh, may God bless you. I just want to tell you just a little bit about our program. This is a nutritionist site and we serve a balanced meal every day. But the most important thing about our site is that you come and congregate. Loneliness kill more seniors. We are celebrating our 10th year and we feel so good that we were able to stay together for 10 years. We have also uh, continued to receive Mr. Larkin's support, which is very important to get support and also from the city. I do not want to leave the city people out because they have been very good, the recreation department to us. Ms. Emma Ella has not forgotten us. She's always checking on us. So it, we feel good to know that those people who start, help us to get started are able to continue to keep us going. And we want to thank you too for that. Let's give a good salute of applause for all of our senior citizens. I know you've been doing that all day. But I wanted you to do it for me while I could salute them for two more years. After that, I'll be saluted. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to coming in and uh, getting my quilt ready. And I'm sincere about that. I want to get my quilt ready so at least I can finish the one my mother started several years ago. <laughs> It's good to be here. Always a pleasure to be in the surroundings of people who have so much experience in life that if we just listen to you, all of our problems will be solved. God bless you and a happy Thanksgiving. It's, it's wonderful being here. I, yes, it is. It's my, I think my third or fourth year here and I just love coming to this event and it's the start of a wonderful holiday season. So have a happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays, and uh, I'll see you all again. Thank you. I just want to thank, you know, there's among some heroes today, and I think it's Beverly Perkins. She needs a round of applause. <laughs> on behalf of the city, and on behalf of the city commissioner in District 3, I want to thank you for having me uh, as your guest today, and I hope to look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you so much.